We begin tonight with a big improvement in the unemployment picture. The Labor Department reported today that the jobless rate in January fell two-tenths of a point to 8.3 percent, the lowest in three years. And the economy created 243,000 jobs. That's a lot more than economists or Wall Street were expecting, so the news sent stock prices soaring. The Dow gained more than 156 points to close at 12,862. And have a look at this. That is the highest close for the Dow since May of 2008. The financial crisis sent the index as low as 6,500 the following year. So that's quite a recovery since then. We asked Anthony Mason to tell us who's posting the help wanted signs. Patriots trash cans and Giants towels are rolling off the line this week at Wincraft, the sports collectibles company in Winona, Minnesota. Super Bowl Sunday is big business for Wincraft, and President John Killen sees business growing 10% this year. We're ahead of plan already in the first month of the year, so we're bullish on 2012. Like many companies, Wincraft, which has 500 employees, had to downsize during the recession. But the good news is we've hired back over 140 people in the last two years, and we're continuing to hire people. We've hired 20 new people in the last 90 days. Is this sustainable? Oh, absolutely. Economist Chris Thornburg says private businesses have now added, on average, 218,000 jobs a month since November. Add up the weight of evidence. It's not just January. It's November, December, January, and what you see is an economy that's picking up speed. Back in Winona, that's allowed Jeff Smith, at last, to land a job. After three years of unemployment and part-time work, the sales and marketing specialist, who once had his own company, tried a new strategy. I made the decision to change my career path and do whatever I could do to take care of my family. He was overqualified for his new job as a receiving clerk, but took it happily. I think any time anybody can get a paycheck, you know, they're just, their self-esteem goes up and they're just so much happier with themselves. A lot of stress goes away. But even if this rate of job growth is sustained, it will take several years for the unemployment rate to get back to pre-recession levels. The economy still has 5.6 million fewer jobs, Scott, than it did four years ago. But Anthony, what explains this job growth? Scott, employers have been telling us for months now that things are actually looking better, that business is getting better, but they haven't been hiring because of all the uncertainty out there. Well, it looks like they are finally regaining some confidence. Anthony, thanks very much. It's good news for sure, but one thing we noticed today is how stubborn unemployment has been. Five and a half million people have been unemployed for a year or more. Look at how that compares to the past. This graph shows the job losses in the 10 recessions we've had since World War II. All you need to notice here is how they're mostly V-shaped. Jobs were lost and then they came back pretty quickly. But now look at the red line coming in from the left, the job losses from the Great Recession. Unlike any recession in 60 years, the jobs didn't spring back. In all the time that they have been keeping records, we have never seen so many Americans out of work for so long.